thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be another dupe it video. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. So I did a video like this some months back and I'll link it up above just in case you're interested. And that video got some positive responses from you all. So I thought I would come in with a part two. So during this video, I'm going to talk about some high end and luxury makeup that I've duped um, with the products that are in my collection. Now, these aren't going to have the same ingredients and of course they'll be by a different brand, but I'm mainly talking about the longevity of it, how it looks, the application, the consistency, you know, all of that good stuff. So this video is going to be really brief. I'm going to talk about a few products that I have. And as far as the price, I'll leave the prices floating somewhere on the screen. And let's just go ahead and get into it. So the first one I wanna talk about is a fragrance and this is DNG Light Blue. Love this guys, this is such a beautiful fragrance. This is like my third bottle of this, but I'm duping it with the Dossier Citrus Green Apple um, comes in a bottle like this. And let me tell you all, if you've never tried Dossier, you've got to try it. They're a company who pretty much makes fragrances that are inspired by name brand fragrances, the expensive fragrances. This one comes in at $29. And um, when you get it, it actually comes in a box like this and they do give you a little sample and they ask that you try it out first make sure you like it if you do great keep it if you don't return the bottle back unused they also give you a little card with uh, that comes in it with the notes and things like that um, about the fragrance and it's just a really great deal one other thing that i like about it is that they're always getting in new fragrances i think um, the latest one that i've seen is by tom ford so if you're a tom ford fan i would definitely go ahead and check them out i also have the dupe for, for the chanel fragrance i don't have it but i've since used it up i've had it years ago and that's why I wanted to pick this one out and this is the Oriental Oak Moss. Um, again I'll have the notes on the screen and this company really does a good job of making fragrances that are inspired by uh, again the name brand fragrances. I do have a discount code down below which you can use and you can also use that discount code on top of any other promotions that they have. So if you are a fragrance lover, uh, you like fragrances but you don't like the price of these definitely check out the company dossier you won't regret it next up i have a body lava and this is the fenty beauty body body, body lava the color is who needs clothes i'm duping it with this uh luminizer that i found on amazon um i have the link down below this is fiora i think that's how you pronounce it but they both come in a glass bottle. They both have the same top. Don't ask me what the top is. I, I misplaced it some kind of way. But these look exactly alike on the skin. The upside to this one, as opposed to this one, this one isn't sticky like this one, or it's not as sticky. It just feels different. It dries down better. So if you don't want to pay the price of this one, definitely check this one out. You won't regret it. Next up, I have some powders, and this is a loose powder by Derma Blend. This is in translucent. It is white. It doesn't have a flashback it looks really good on the skin and what I've duped it with is this Milani translucent powder wears the same applies the same lasts the same looks really good I can also appreciate how finely milled this Milani loose powder is and how well it looks under the eye let's say you just want to use it for under your eyes it just looks so good and it won't leave you overly dry or cakey looking under your eye you know that type of look that we all hate so yeah, definitely check this one out if you want to avoid paying the price of this baby. All right, so the next one that I have is this concealer by YSL, and this is the All Hours Concealer. Beautiful concealer, very nice, very smooth, really pigmented, but the price is a little booger bear. And what I've duped it with is this Juvia's Place Concealer. The consistency is the same, the coverage is the same, uh, the wear time, how it blends out, so beautiful. So if you were thinking about, you know, picking this one up, definitely save you some coin and just go ahead and get the Juvia's Place Concealer. You won't regret it. So next up I have some blushes and this blush is one of Melt Cosmetics' newer blush, new blushes in Honey this is a cream blush looks like this and this one is a cream 
cream blush by milani can't see the name i'll have to put it somewhere on the screen but these blushes are so very similar they blend out the same the longevity the consistency everything so if you find it kind of hard to shell out the money for this baby definitely check out this milani cream blush you won't regret it. All right, next we have is Jaclyn Hill's Loose Highlighter. This is very beautiful, uh, very beamy type of highlighter. Want to dupe it with a Ink Glot uh, Sparkling Dust. I'm thinking they still sell this, but these two are the same. Now, some people may uh, consider this uh, high end, but I don't. I think this one is less than $20, but either way, it is cheaper than this one and it does look equally as beautiful. So if you're one that likes that beaming uh, highlight to the gods, but you don't want to shell out the price for this Jaclyn Hill Loose Highlighter, I would definitely check Check out Ink Glot's uh, Sparkling Dust Luminizer. You won't regret it. All right, so the last one I'll talk about is a gel eyeliner by Ink Glot. Y'all have heard me talk about this one so many times, um, especially in a lot of my older videos because it's been around forever. This is Ink Lash Gel Eyeliner. Dries matte, very beautiful. Wanna dupe it with this e.l.f. gel liner. This one also dries down matte, goes on very smoothly. Um, and it plays well when you're trying to apply it over other eyeshadow. I found <clears throat> I found that not all gel eyeliners just uh, play well or work well with eyeshadows uh, that you may have on, especially if you have it on um, kind of thick and especially if you have eyelashes on. So if you don't want to shell out the money for this gel eyeliner, definitely check e.l.f. out. And you know, e.l.f. just overall to me has some really great products and I have definitely been enjoying this little baby right here. So that's pretty much it, short and sweet. Those are all of the products that I wanted to dupe. Let me know if you've tried any of these. Also, let me know what your favorite dupe is. I would love to hear about it and I'm sure others would love to hear about it too when they read the comments. So yeah, let me know. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.